Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Death Garden. It's been some time since the closed alpha and closed beta test, but finally Death Garden has arrived and is available to play. Today Death Garden begins its soft launch for streamers to play the game early by one day, and then we'll be opening the game to all players that pre-ordered the game. Need to pick yourself up a copy? In the description down below I've dropped a link to their website that will allow you to pre-order Death Garden while also granting you access to the deluxe edition at the cost of the standard edition of $30. Additionally, this gives you access to the soft launch on August 9th, allowing you to play before its actual release on August 15th. The offer is up until the game is released approximately two days before, so if you choose to pick up the game after this deadline of August 13th, then you'll have to pay an additional $20 for the deluxe content of cosmetics and any goodies that interest you within that content. Picking up a copy of Death Garden through this link will not only grab you the deluxe copy at a $20 discount, but also help support my stream as it counts as a referral from me. So what is Death Garden all about? Well, Death Garden is an asymmetrical 1 vs 5 arena where one hunter attempts to defeat three runners before three runners can complete the objective and escape. Death Garden provides two styles of gameplay to give a good variety of gameplay between both sides. Hunters experience a first person shooter style of play where they must hunt down the runners. Using various tools they'll have to manage time to make sure that the runners do not overwhelm the hunter and take the objective. Hunter is invincible and cannot be killed, however various effects can be applied to slow the hunter and their progress giving runners a chance to fight back. Runners gain the third person experience where they parkour around the arena to attempt to be as stealthy as possible to upgrade their class with various different tools to combat the hunter without getting caught too early. Runners have to balance stealth with agility as they may have to be quick on their feet in case that they're being chased by the hunter themselves. Using quick footwork and thinking, the runner can attempt to escape the hunter's gaze and return to their objective. From both its closed alpha and beta tests, I was able to display the basic gameplay. Runners have three classes to choose from which provide very various powers to fulfill different roles within the team, and Hunter has a handful of different weapons, powers, and perks to choose from in order to make the deadliest combinations. What separates Death Garden from other asymmetrical games like Dead by Daylight is the focus on teamwork and skill. Everything you do as a player has an effect on the outcome, and you do have to play as a team if you are a runner. Choices you make influence the results, and the skill to pull off those tactics you set forth makes a massive difference. Finding a runner isn't enough. It takes takes accuracy and tactics to take down a team of runners as they stun, slow, blind, and control your actions. Meanwhile, the hunter also has to manage being able to aim through all the chaos and choose who to target properly while defending the objectives and ensuring he is not overwhelmed. Death Garden also offers dedicated servers, grouping with friends, and various game modes. Several people wondered what type of progression system Death Garden would have, and it's very simple. It's open to all players. All weaponry and skills are available to everybody right at the start. Each game you play will provide you with the player experience and alter your rank. Leveling up the player level will provide the player with tokens to use to unlock cosmetics. These cosmetics range from weapon skins, masks, and outfits. You're able to adjust your character's hair, gender, skin color, and wear the various unlockable cosmetics. That doesn't only apply to runners, that's hunters as well. You make the hunter into you, and you also make the runner into what fits you the best. As of now, Death Garden has no microtransactions. All the cosmetics in game are achievable through gameplay, except for the exclusives of owning Dead by Daylight, and also uh, playing in the closed alpha, beta, and pre-ordering the deluxe edition. I'm sure you can still get the deluxe edition afterwards, but those are the current cosmetics. Everything else is open to you to earn through your own efforts. So what else has changed from the closed alpha and closed beta tests? Well, tons. The developers of Behavior have done a fantastic job of listening to the community in regards to changes to Death Garden. There were so many changes it would take a video of its own to cover everything, but we'll cover some of the basics to show how well the game has been balanced and what they've added. The stun on the hunter is no longer as powerful as it was of a controlling effect as it used to stun you for long enough to be instantly murked by the hunter. Now it just stuns you long enough to hold you still and stop you from climbing upwards, but it also now deals damage to you. 
What this does is prevents the hunter from getting an easy single button press kill and still has to work for his hit. If you are being very squirrely, he can use the stun to stop you from going up a tree and then continue a chase in that manner. It does cost him the same amount of stamina so he can get about two of those on you, but it does deal a lot of damage so it can be used as a finisher now if you're trying to get away with a sliver of life. Runners may now also dodge five times instead of two with their stamina bar. This is a massive difference as runners really had to rely on jumping and parkour only to dodge a hunter. Now they actually have dodge rolls to make some very quick maneuver changes and they have much more variety of options to take instead of once you've done your two rolls from the two stuns, you're pretty much boned. So runners really do have the tools they need now. These were all fantastic buffs to the runners as they've been having a rough time. Hunters were also given two new weapons, such as the single bolt sniper rifle and a new shotgun, which is slower than the other, but deals more damage. Uh, it's fantastic that they also nerfed the shotgun class in general so that it doesn't provide with one shot kills anymore, which is fantastic. Shotguns are very powerful. Hopefully we'll see other weapons come into use. There are several changes to the game itself and all have been for the better of gameplay on both sides and I feel that Death Garden has gone in a really good direction. Hunters are still powerful, hunters still dominate, but runners who are capable of using proper teamwork, timing, and stealth can still overcome the obstacle. This game rewards skill over everything else, and it feels absolutely rewarding to be able to escape on a hunter who's been on his game taking your teammates out while your teammates respond to all the actions the hunter takes. There's even a new game mode. If you weren't fancying the capture the point style, now you have the pick up and deliver game mode where you must pick up a key and for as long as you hold this key the hunter knows where you're at and you have to deliver the key to a drop box. Once you deliver it you are no longer revealed. If the hunter is coming for you, you can drop the key at any time but you cannot pick it back up. You'll have to go find another key box to pick up another key and this kind of play is totally different from the strategies that you would need on just simply capture the points. So the various game modes are randomized when you jump into a queue. It doesn't split the community up. You're able to play in and you get a random mode. I think both were very fun. I had a very good time making a separate strategy for when it was picking up the key and delivering them versus capturing points. And honestly, I've had the most fun with Death Garden on this test than I have in the prior ones. And I have been most excited to get my hands on this game. And I just suggest it to anyone who's willing to give it a try. This is a unique asymmetrical game that brings the competitive side to the asymmetrical genre. If you want to come and check me out on Twitch, I'll be playing Death Garden for everyone to see. We'll even be playing with Monto, Marth88, Puppers, Polyester, and Bricky on the 8th of August, which is the day of this upload. So if you want to come check us all collab, we got a multi-Twitch going on. I'll see you all there at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Like I said before, if you want to pick up a copy for yourself, jump into the soft release yourself, then follow the link down below. If you have any questions about Death Garden, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer you as soon as I possibly can. If you want to check out gameplay, you can also check out some of the other Death Garden videos on my channel. They may be outdated to the other test builds, but it's still the core gameplay of being able to see what a hunter does and what the runners do. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch as I'll be doing gameplay of Death Garden as my primary game. Though I didn't give up on Dead by Daylight, no one has to worry about that. It'll still be there. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.